Hello, I'm Veronique Frikushni. It's hard to believe 80 years have gone by, almost a lifetime, since Bohuslav Martinu arrived in New York City in March of 1941. It was a journey that began in June of 1940 with a phone call from my father, Rudolf Frikushni. Bohush, it looks bad. I'm leaving for Nantes tonight, and you should try to get out of Paris too. The Martinus left Paris on June 10, and the Nazis marched in on June 14. Bohuslav and Charlotte, as my father and some of his Czech compatriots, fled towards Marseille, staying ahead of the advancing German army. My father arrived in Marseille by way of Montpellier and Agde. In Montpellier, he stopped to look for Yuzhi Mucham, only to find out from his landlady that Vitka had died. Mucha was no longer there, but the landlady gave my father a correspondence note that was in a language he couldn't read. It was from Martinu to Vitka, and that was how my father found out that Martinu was staying with Munch somewhere in the south of France. I never met Bohuslav Martinu. He had died before I was born. But growing up in New York City, we lived at 55th Street and 6th Avenue, and every time we would walk to Central Park, my brother Igor and I, with my father, we would pass 58th Street. And he would stop and smile and nod and say, that's where we lived, Bohush and I, when we first came to New York. I'm honored to say a few words of remembrance, a few words of remembrance about these two artists who were such close friends, almost like brothers. They lived through historic times and found great comfort in their friendship during their political exile. My father once wrote, there are indeed values in this world which last and for which life is worth living. That is what my dear friend Bohuslav Martinu meant when he wrote, freedom of thought and freedom of expression. Without them, no artist can either exist or create. How wonderful that Martinu did arrive on these shores 80 years ago and that it allowed him the freedom to continue to compose. And while I regret that I never had a chance to meet Bohuslav Martinu in person, I'm so grateful that I grew up surrounded by his music. Thank you, Bohuslav Martinu, and happy anniversary. Mm.